Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I wanted to talk about the Pacific X-Force Pro number one, the racket used and endorsed by Marcos Bagdatis during his active career. Uh, I was previously under Fisher, but Pacific bought the Fisher brand and are now creating the rackets using the same molds pretty much, but they also innovate. And this one is a little bit stiffer than the original mold, but very, very nice on impact. Pacific X-Force Pro 1 has the following specs, 98 square inches, 305 grams, 31.5 centimeter balance, 25, 23 and 20 millimeter beam, 1620 pattern and a stiffness of 64 unstrung, meaning 61 strong. I wasn't alone in testing this rack, it had a few of my friends trying it as well. There were a few different comments, uh, she, he said that it was a little bit low powered, but he plays with a Prince Extreme Tour, so he missed a little bit of that power, he had to generate a lot, although he really liked the feel. Bernard, who plays with a pure strike, a generation 1, 1820, and gets a lot of power from his very flat stroke and an excellent timing. He really loved this one. He, he was almost contemplating the switch during the playtest, and he really felt like this racket had that feeling that he was looking for. And uh, so for a control player, I think the X-Force Pro 1 is an excellent choice. I loved it at the first hit, just the feeling when I hit the ball was premium. I do think that they have very good quality control, Pacific as well. My racket was within one gram and pretty much spot on balance. Swing weight with strings and their new uh, poly called Thunder, a black polyester string. That's a pretty nice feel, uh, similar to RPM Blast, but a little bit softer I felt it to be. Strung it pretty low, 20 kilos, 44 pounds, and uh, the swing weight was around 3 to 7 with strings, which for me is kind of perfect, that's my spec. I think that that's a very nice spec for a control frame, and this is definitely a control frame you have to generate your own power. It doesn't give you anything for free on serves and so on, but when you're needing that pinpoint precision, like when you're at the net to hit a really nice touch volley, or you just need to kind of thread the needle on a passing shot, this racket really provides the control and the feel you need. So this is where it comes in. It's a more old school frame in, a, in many ways, but has a more modern take on it. So I really like this one. It's one of the better control rackets I've tested in a while. It's funny because I've never really tried the Pro One. During all my years of being a crazy racket nerd, I haven't come across this one or, or given it a, a proper go. So that this was high time to do it. And I'm very happy I did. It's a, it's a very nice frame plays exactly what I would expect from what hearing other players talk about it, but it was above expectations actually. Personally, I, I probably need more power myself, like the sweet spot is not the biggest, the power level is pretty small, so uh, my technique is not good enough to generate all that power over and over again. I did play with the Prestige MP uh, before, but I'm finding that it's not enough to uh, be competitive against better players, who I'm, and I'm mainly playing pretty strong players these days, at least for my level, so I need some extra help from the frame. In this case, uh, it's difficult for me to use low-powered rackets, although I love playing with them. Uh, Bernard, on the other hand, better player than me, he really loved this one and contemplated actually switching from the, the Pure Strike uh, 1820 305 gram version to Generation 1, which a lot of you like. I get a lot of messages when I have a picture of a Pure Strike uh, Generation 1 in some of my videos. A great frame, as super plush, very nice feeling. You do get some power, but it's a little bit lacking in some respects, excellent on the slice, uh, drop shots, all that stuff, but you need to provide your own power. Uh, arm comfort, also supreme, don't need to worry about that with that low flex. And I do really like their attention to detail when it comes to the specs. The Pacific rackets I've tried over the last two years have all been of high quality and close to spot on spec. Can't believe I never tried this one. Uh, although it's been around for many many years in different forms but in this modern version I really enjoyed it. Well that's about it for this review, I hope you found it useful. If you want to support the work I do please check out Patreon, patreon.com slash tennisnerd. That's it, have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.